Hi guys, Ivan and Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're in a suburb called Bibra Lake. And we're on the lake over here because there is a lake here. It's a huge lake. Have a look at that. 5,880 residents here. Big area, guys. Built on an area of 12.5 square kilometres. And it's 23.5 kilometres from the Perth CBD. So um, that's quite a decent sized lake over there. On the edge of the jetty, it's not that deep, but who knows what's in the middle over there. So, um, Bibra Lake is in the southern suburbs of Perth. And lies within the local government area of the city of Coburn. So we'll just take a little bit of a walk around here and check it out. The suburb was found in 1967. So not that old a suburb, guys. This is just um, a path leading um, or going around the lake. So the suburb was found in 1967 and takes its, takes its name from the extensive freshwater lake within the boundaries, which we just showed you, Bibra Lake. The existence of the lake was not, was first reported by Augustus Gregory during a survey in May 1842, so that lake was founded in or noticed in 1842, quite a long time ago. So, guys, um, what we'll do now um, is take a different part of. Um, Bibra Lake and show you around there because there's not really much to see of the lake but we'll see you there shortly. So guys this here is the famous um, Adventure World and it's also in the suburb of Bibra Lake and um, it's a major theme park. It was opened on November the 11th 1982. There's also a bungee jump in here guys Bungee, bungee jump tower and that there could be the bungee jump tower over there I'm not sure okay guys um, it cost um, $79.95 for an adult so pretty expensive if you turn up at the gate you can buy it cheap online so there's not a lot to see over here where we are because everything's fenced off as you can see and you have to pay your $79.95 to get in to check it out. So guys we're in an industrial area of Bibra Lake because it contains a few little industrial light industrial areas and commercial areas so um, this is one of them over here. So when, I was, when we were at the Adventure World guys there's um, I forgot to mention, uh, children under four get in free over there. So um, if you've got young kids under four, you can get them in free. Uh, there's also a um, laser tag venue in there, similar to paintball, but without the paint, so you don't get messed up. It's a laser um, guns that they use. I thought lasers were no good for you. You go to jail for 50 years if you point a laser at someone, but yet we can use lasers at these venues. Could be a different laser. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below, guys, if you know much about these laser tag um, games that are there. Replacing paintball. So um, let's take a little walk down this um, commercial place over here. There's a few things there. There's even a ice cream thing there, jelly. Over there. Must make the ice cream there, I don't know. 
spare parts places over here all sorts of stuff over here guys so if you're in Bib if you live in Bibra Lake you've got a good chance of um, finding a job over here because there's everything here so what we might do now is um, take you to a different part of uh, Bibra Lake and show you guys around there we'll see you there shortly hi right, guys we made it into the residential part of Bibra Lake over here so um, There's also a, a big um, ice arena in this area, in the suburb. So there's a lot of things over here in Bibra Lake, a lot of things to do. So there's plenty of parks in the suburb also. There's actually quite a few. And the largest being Bibra Lake Reserve, which we showed you earlier on. Uh, there's also three schools in Bibra Lake two private and one um, government school. So, um, so far guys, all the gardens, gardens look quite neat over here. What do you guys think? Everything looks quite nice. We noticed there were a lot of people out and about walking early on. So, um, I must have headed in now because I think it's getting close to lunchtime. There's a small shopping centre in the suburb also, which we're not sure if we're going to head there. We probably will. And there's also a medical centre in the same complex as the shopping centre. There's a nice, there's one of the parks here guys. It's a massive uh, kids play area there. It's all under cover also, all shaded. And um, it's very well kept also. Very neat, looks like a very neat suburb. There's a house that we're coming up to, I can see it. And that's probably going to be the worst garden. They've let the street down. These gardens here are very nice over here. A few older houses through here, probably dating back to the 1980s. And I'm right there. That's probably the worst garden and the worst house because all those um, tiles are coming, popping off, the ridge capping, it's all popping off. So I don't know what's going on over there. Might be a rental, not sure, might even be empty, but needs a lot of attention. But all in all, quite a nice, neat suburb. What do you guys think? Leave some comments for us. Bibra, Bibra Lake. It's a big suburb guys. It's 12.8 square kilometers so it's massive. Hence such a lot of um, things in the area like the Adventure World and the Skate, uh, sorry the Ice Arena. Look at this house here. That's a beauty. That's a beautiful looking house. Perfect gardens. Best house in the suburb. There you go. Well done. Now there's a few um, light aircraft going over. We've heard quite a few today. So um, I think the Jandy Cot airport's close to here, close to the suburb, which is a lot of light, light planes. Here's another, here's another shocking house over here, guys. Shocking gardens. A lot of crows over there. <laughs> Must be a bit of food lying around. Leftover hungry jacks from last night or something. 
lying around the place. The back of that house is absolutely um, really, really bad. The, the weeds are about four foot high. So pretty bad stuff. So we have found a few now. Look at this one. This one's um, pretty shocking also. There are always a few in the area. So, so we spoke about shopping before. Um, if you want any major shopping, there's a massive shopping centre close by here called Coburn Gateway. That's a huge shopping centre. It's got all sorts of stuff there. So that's where you'll do most of your major uh, shopping. It's in the suburb of Success, the Coburn Gateway Shopping Centre. And the closest major hospital um, is Fiona Stanley Hospital in Murdoch. Uh, there's no train through here, but the closest train station is uh, Murdoch train station. And there is a bus service, guys, taking you to and from the station. There's another shocker across there. So once we delve deep, deeper into the area, into the suburb, um, we, we do find these um, houses that, um, that are quite bad. And here's a bus stop over here. This bus um, will probably take you to the station, to the train station in Murdoch. Just um, cutting off that main road over there, guys, and heading down a, a little side road over here through Bibula Lake. No footpaths. So we have to wear, walk on the verge over here because there's no footpaths over here on either side. What we have noticed, guys, it's um, underground power over here, which is great. Have a look at that. You don't see any of those ugly wires dangling everywhere, all underground. There's a nice, uh, neat lawn over here where I'm just walking on. Nice looking house also. A lot, of, um, a lot of trees in the suburb, guys. And a lot of bird life also, which is good. Good to see. Tells you that the suburb's alive. And these are pretty good trees also through here. On the verge and in people's gardens. So all in all, people look after their gardens here in Beaver Lake, which is good. We've only noticed a, a handful of um, unkept gardens. So what we might do now, guys, is um, wind this little segment up over here and take you to another part of Beaver Lake and show you around there. We'll see you there shortly. Okay guys, we're just um, taking you to the house, the only house for sale, well it's not the only house for sale, it's the only house with a price on. There, there were only a handful of houses for sale in the suburb. The rest are all sold under offer. And this is it here guys, it's the only one with a price on. It's number three Sunshine Place in Bibra Lake. It's a four by two by two and it's not a garage, it's just a car, carport. And it's on a, a big block, 702 square metre block. Um, not a massive house, it's only 125 square metre 
living internal living area and the total including the carport and the veranda and that totals 277 square meters uh, they're asking from 875,000 Australian dollars right across the road here um, is a car yard <laughs> there's, there's about 20 cars there with, with uh, combined two houses and there's a, a couple of boats in there also and caravans and all sorts of stuff so if you're going to spend your 875,000 bucks um, you'll be right across the road from cheap Tony's car yard <laughs> so spend wisely guys if you're interested in that house because you might have a few loud parties across the road from you so that there was the only house in Bibra Lake with a price on it and like I said there was only a handful of houses for sale here yeah, that you can contact the agent so not a lot on the market yesterday still we've been asking some of our comments um, if Perth is still a hot market the answer is yes it still is a hot market we've had um, we've hit the three million um, residents in Western Australia um, last week and um, it's still a very hot market these people have to um, these people have to live somewhere so the houses are still getting snapped up very quickly and I also read an article in a paper that um, November is usually the month to sell a house here in Perth because you can make you can get an extra ten thousand dollars by selling in November for some reason everyone's out in in spring time looking at real estate and uh, there's a bit of competition going on with the real estate so you, statistics say or show that you can make an extra ten thousand bucks if you're selling in the month of November very interesting now guys what I'll do now is I'll um, give you guys the median um, house price over here in Bibra Lake um, and that house we showed you is selling above the median house price because the median house price over here quite expensive guys um, 820,000 Australian dollars and the median land, um, unit price over here is 439,500 Australian dollars and there's been there's no data over here for land we haven't seen much vacant land there's a block there that's a big block not for sale though um, all neatly slashed and that and that's how it should be should be done so this here is the block um, a block of land typical size of blocks over here is about the 650 to 700 square meter size we might just wrap it up over here on this block on this vacant block what do you guys think I know there's no back view but you got me to look at guys <laughs> thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one